Hello everyone and welcome back to AV Chess Lab. This game was played between Wesley So and Sam Chankland, a battle of USA teammates. It was played in round 6 of the Opera Euro Rapid Prelims, where Magnus is leading the field. So let's see what happens here. C4, Wesley goes for the English opening. C6, and with this move the game can transpose into many different openings, so let's see what Wesley decides to go for. Knight f3, d5, putting pressure on the pawn here on c4 with a potential capture, following that up with b5, supporting the pawn on c4. d4 by Wesley, knight to f6, g3, maybe in the future he wants to go bishop g2, followed by castle, which is very lo logical in this setup. Bishop to f5, knight to c3, and e6. And we have, we have reached a semi-slav with the bishop already on the square on f5, which is a good version of this position. Usually this bishop is here on c8, and he has a hard time getting out. So white's advantage is mostly because of that. Knight to h4. Shankland recently released a chessable course on the slab, and I'm sure he has all of this analyzed. D takes e4. Very sharp stuff here by Sam. I would have preferred the more solid bishop to g6, and if white ever recaptures there, then after we capture with the h-pawn, we can use the semi-open h-file to attack white along the lines here. Instead here we have knight takes f5, e takes f5, and e3, opening up for this bishop to recapture here on c4. Knight b to d7, black continues to develop, and the bishop captures the pawn. Now that the material is even, white stands much better since he has a better pawn structure. Notice that black has double pawns here, which can be easily attacked by white. Knight to b6, attacking the bishop, Wesley returns with bishop to b3, queen to d7. Queen to f3, targeting the f5 pawn as we mentioned earlier and hinting some potential h3, g4, opening up the kingside. Bishop to d6 by Sam, bishop to d2, castles by black, h3, and bishop to b4, and bishop c2, attacking the pawn on f5 with two pieces. So Sam has to protect with g6, and here Wesley finally castles queenside. And the question is, who's going to strike first? Wesley castles queenside, Sam to the kingside, and usually when this happens, opposite side castling, we're going to have fireworks. If you're enjoying this game thus far, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get back into the game. Here, knight f to d5 is played, and Kasparov, in a very famous video, after one of his games in the World Championship, he said that trading the pieces around your opponent's king is usually a good idea and very favorable in order to create an attack. And this is a rule that every chess player should follow. Knight takes on d5, bishop takes on d2 check, rook takes, and pawn takes on d5. All these trades do seem to have helped black. The white king sure looks like the more exposed and easier to get to. So let's see how Wesley plans to defend his position. Or maybe he's planning to attack. Bishop to d3, freeing the square on c2 for the rook. The rook comes to c8 with check, attacking the white king. The king goes to p1, and knight to c4, threatening to take the rook on d2. The rook slides to c2, and here Sam goes for rook to c6 not anticipating the breakthrough on the king side with g4. This is why 15 minute chess is so exciting, lots of mistakes and decisive games. g4 by Wesley, rook fc8 by Chankland, g takes on f5, and queen c7. This all looks very scary for white. King to a1, and Wesley with all the pieces staring him down, plays his quiet move setting a small trick. Sam goes for knight to e5, falling and missing the reply, rook takes on c6, queen takes on c6, and d takes e5. And Chankland forgot that the bishop from d3 can actually cover the square on b1, so he had to resign in this position, and the game is over. Since after queen to c1 check, the rook takes on c1, rook takes on c1, and bishop to b1, and this is game over. A superb game by Wesley, as he now shares first place with Magnus Carlsen. I hope everyone enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe, have a great day, and show respect to your opponent. See you next time.